Hi, we're Mincon Fortifix. Uh, we're manufacturers of high temperature sealants and adhesives, supplying many sectors in the industry. One of those sectors is the stove and flue industry. From time to time we get asked of how to apply certain things and fix maintenance on a stove. So we're going to run a series of videos on stove maintenance. Um, today I'm going to try and show you how to replace the, the stove rope in a, in a, in a, in a ceiling in a, in a stove door. Um, Basically it's just a prop so it's a relatively new stove. So what I like to do is remove the door from the stove itself. Now this might not be possible because the, some of the bolts seize on doors and it may be difficult to get off. Now if you can't get the stove off it's just going to be a little bit more awkward. Uh, but uh, the principle's still the same. So I've removed the door from the stove and removed all of the existing old rope from the door. When you remove the door, there'll still be debris, there'll still be glue, there'll still be dust left there as well. What I tend to use is a flat bladed screwdriver just to clean the cavity in the channel and then apply, um, just give it a rub with emery cloth. Once we've got all that channel clean and free, that then we're sort of good to go. I also, for just to make sure everything is clean and everything's free from debris, I use our surface preparation spray which is USP 10. And this literally just takes away all of the dust, all of the debris, dead paint, dead adhesive. And what that'll do is it'll just flash off to our atmosphere, giving us a nice substrate to work with. When we decide what rope we need, again, um, you'll know from the old rope that you've taken off. But the most common size is a 6, 8, 10 and 12 mil. When you've got the correct rope, literally start off, I always use a, a, a high temperature flame retardant fiberglass seal tape. Literally tape the end. This keeps all of the fibres in, nice surface to work with. Once we've got the rope, literally start to lay in the inward channel, working around the contours, just falling around. This just achieves the right length of the rope that we need. Once we've got that measurement, we butt up, cut it off where required, and apply the tape again. Just to keep nice and uniform, nice and tight, nice tight seal. Taking that rope away. So the product I suggest to use is our Flex Seal 300. Now this is a silicon based product and people may say silicon on a stove door. It's been tried and tested over the last 10 years. Primarily before that we used a, a water glass based solution which was sodium silicate and this used to adhere the, the, stove, the, the rope into stove doors but it's very fragile, it tends to crack up, it tends to fall out, not the ideal scenario. But Flexil 300 because it'll operate all day at 300 degrees C, feel and temperature around 320, what we've realised is because of the degree of the insulation that the rope gives, that glue line never hits those sort of temperatures. It'll also adhere to the painted surfaces on these new stoves as well. So, in preparation, always cut the end of the, 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 cart, the, the, the nozzle off the cartridge. Now, I'm not being patronising, but I have numerous phone calls where we can't, the people say that we can't exclude the product from the cartridge. And that's purely because they've not nipped the end off. With the nozzle as well, we want to be trying to apply a, a bead diameter of sort of five or six millimetres. So cut that off on an angle, place it in the gun, and then we're good to go. Applying the silicone, again, a, a five or six millimetre bead all the way through the centre of the channel if we can. Following the contours round. Once we've filled that channel, we're ready to place the rope in. Now I always start with the, the, the joint at the bottom of the door. And this is the reason being that, um, that if there's any gases or smoke that wants to escape, it's going to try and track up over. So we don't want that seam at the top, we want it at the bottom. So start to depress the rope in. The silicone itself is a good grab, so it wants to take hold of that rope wherever you put it into the channel. And the rope itself, because it's so flexible, just wants to sit there. Once 
Once that rope's there, just make sure it's all pressed home. Now the product should cure in about eight to 10 hours. But I always sort of say to people, leave it 24 hours, then you know for certain that everything is fully cured. Then we're ready to replace the, stove, the door back onto the stove and light up and we're good to go. We will be showing some more videos within the, the, the sequence of the store of repair and maintenance. But in the meantime, if you need any information on the products that we supply, any data sheets, any health and safety data sheets, they're all available from the website. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.